In this video, I'll show how to create a multi-step form in WordPress. The form on the screen is a basic multi-step form for a cleaning company website. Users can customize a product or service in a step-by-step -step manner. At the top of the form, user can see how many steps they have completed and how many are left. If they want to change any information at any point, they can click on the step at the top and update it. And you do not need to purchase any plugins for this. I have used the Forminator plugin to design this multi-step form in this WordPress website. You can design a multi-step form based on your use cases. Let's start from scratch. On this WordPress site, first I will install the plugin. I'll go to plugins, add new plugin and here I'll search with Forminator. This is the plugin Forminator Forms. I'll install the plugin and I will activate it. After the installation of the plugin, I can see this Forminator menu here. I'll click on the Forms option. I'll create a new form. I'll select this blank template. I'll name it get a price and create it. Here first I'll create all the fields for the form and then I'll break the form in different pages. I'll click on insert fields. I'll select the select field option. I'll click on insert fields. The label for the field will be service type. And I'll add some options here. The first option is residential cleaning, commercial cleaning, deep cleaning and carpet cleaning. I'll add a placeholder for the drop down here. I'll add the placeholder. Choose your services. I'll click on apply. I'll quickly create all the fields one by one. I have added all the fields for the form. Now I'll click on this publish button. This is the short code I need to add on a page to display the form. I'll copy this. I'll go to pages here and I want to display the form on this get a price page. I'll click on this edit with Elementor since the page is built with Elementor. Here I'll add a short code. And I'll paste the short code here. I'll publish it. You do not need to have Elementor on your website for this form. You can use this form on any WordPress website. You just need to embed the short code on a page. Let's preview the page. This is how the form looks now. Currently, it doesn't have the paginations. I need to break the form into multiple pages. For this, I'll go to the form designing page. Here add a new field and I'll select page break and insert field. The first page break I want before this property details section. I'll drag this page break here property details. I'll add another page break and I'll drag this before the personal information section. Now I'll add one more page break and I'll drag this before this preferred service date and time. I'll update the form and here under appearance, I'll change the design of the form to flat. Now I'll update it. Let's reload the page here. Now it has the page option, page one, page two, page three and finish. 
I need to update these options here. I'll go to the form designing page here. I'll go to the fields. At the top, I see this pagination option now. I'll click on the settings and I see the options here. Here for the page one, I'll add service type and frequency. For the second page, I'll do property details. For the third page, I'll do personal information. For the last page, I'll do preferred service date and time and apply update. Let's refresh the page here. And here I can see the multi-step form. The form is ready. Here under email notifications, by default it will send an email to the admin, but I want to add a notification for the visitor who will submit the form. I'll click on add email notification, the subject, your service request details. I'll add all the form fields using this insert form fields option, all form fields. Now under recipients, I'll add the recipient's email from this insert form fields. I'll select email address. This email address is coming from the email address field on the form. I'll click on add. Under settings, you have the option to store the form submission on your WordPress website. You can see all the submission on your dashboard. This option is already turned on. Now I'll update this. Refresh the page here. Let's fill this form and see how it works. I'll select the service type to commercial cleaning. One time, next number of rooms 5 number of bathrooms 3.5 the area is 2000 here i'll select bathrooms and kitchen here i'll type eco-friendly product next i'll type a name here this is the email the phone number street I'll select a date, hours, now I'll send the message. The form has been submitted. Here under this formulator option, I see this submissions menu. I'll click on this. I'll select the form, get a price, show submissions and I can see the form submission here. I'll click on this and this shows all the details I have submitted. This is the admin email on the website. I have received a notification here with all the details. This is the email account of the user and I have received the same details here. You have noticed the emails are coming from no reply at WP trial zone. I set up the SMTP connection with the no reply email address to receive the email notification from the website. Check out this video to learn how to set up a no reply email address for your WordPress website. So you do not miss any important notification from the website. In the next video, I'll show how to build a conditional form on WordPress. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Thank you for watching.